If you're a print on demand seller, then AI has definitely been on your radar. Maybe you've been excited about it or you absolutely hate it. Either way, it's here to stay. So today I'll be showing you some of the best AI tools and how you can use them for print on demand to make more money and save more time. So I think for a lot of people right now, AI is a very spooky alien sci-fi kind of concept. And because it's a trend, every tech company is like, we use AI, AI this, AI that to try and sell you more products. But fundamentally, artificial intelligence means training machines to process data and recognizing patterns and then making decisions based on that uh, without having sort of every step in between being programmed. So it's still inputs and outputs, but with learning and pattern recognition happening in between. And obviously this is really useful in business because it can help with decision-making based on data um, where there's limited resources and also content creation based on previous content that you feed it. So for print on demand, that's things like market research and design. So the first category of tools is these market research tools that take advantage of a combination of web scraping and AI technology. So uh, these have been around for a while. I've talked about them a lot in past videos. The reason they're important is that in a space as competitive as POD with such a low barrier to entry where you know everyone and their dog is trying to sell t-shirts online, finding gaps in the market is key to being able to make money. That means finding low competition and high demand niches like these. Now on marketplaces, the competition side of things is pretty easy to see. Uh, you just look at how many results there are for a given keyword, but the demand side of things is harder to find out. And that's where these market research tools and the AI technology behind them help out with that. So I'll be showing you some paid tools that I use if you are interested. Uh, most of them have free trials anyway, but I know the title of this video says free, not free trial. So don't worry, I will also be showing you some uh, alternative, actually free options um, available on the web for anyone to use. Now, when it comes to the technical side of things, I am not gonna pretend to know exactly how this works. I just know that AI is involved. And if you are interested in the details, I think this technology has uh, various patents behind it. For example, Merch Informer says they have a uh, patent, so you can go and look that up. Should be public information. But the idea is that they show you demand data, which is something that you cannot see at a glance. But to give a vague sort of wishy-washy explanation, they use AI pattern recognition based on signals that indicate a sale or a search has taken place. And then they test these models against real life data um, with reasonable accuracy. I think one developer quoted to me something like a 5% range accuracy. So reasonably accurate. Now, as a demonstration, Sales Samurai is the tool that I use for Etsy keyword research. You can get a three day free trial using my link below. Full disclosure, affiliate link. So let me show you how this works. Now, Sales Samurai has a, a Chrome extension, among other things, that shows you demand and competition for related keywords. So if I type in the word cat, we can see that cat has uh, 26,000 monthly searches, which is great. There is demand for cats products, right? But if we search for it, there's over a million results. And it, even if we flood the market with cat designs, it's going to be hard to get views, let alone make money. But if we use the extension to get some more suggested keywords, we can now see some data in the browser for these keywords. And some of these are going to be much better options than just cat or cat shirt. If you scroll long enough, I promise you will find some good keywords. And by good, I mean high search volume and low competition. Some examples I managed to find for the cat niche were um, this keyword, so feral cat shirt, which has a good amount of search per month, 398, that's more than 10 searches a day, reasonable competition as well. And there's also antidepressant cat sticker, another good keyword, uh, decent search volume and very low competition. And I think the best one that I was able to find was karma cat sticker. Um, so 443 monthly searches, that's definitely more than 10 a day and uh, decent competition as well. So there you go, three niches you can design for that are statistically more likely to make sales because there is a market gap and now you've just got to test them. So I have a list of the uh, best research tools that I would recommend for specific platforms 
on the tools section of my website and many of them uh, do have free trials. But if you want completely free tools, then here are the ones I would recommend for the biggest print on demand marketplaces. So that's namely Amazon, uh, Redbubble and Etsy and also a research tool for Shopify that I want to show you guys. So for Redbubble research, there's this 100% free tool. It's called Bubble Spider um, and it's free, at least right now. Um, I've actually made a video about Bubble Spider before and they've added in quite a lot of features such as uh, Amazon data as well. So this shows you the uh, trending products and uh, their search volume and also the competition as well. So you can look through this list uh, or you can filter by demand and competition. So really, really useful tool that's free for everyone to use. If you wanna see the uh, actual estimated revenue of certain products, then you can consider using a tool called Bubble Scout, uh, link below or on my website. But if not, then Bubble Spider, this free tool gives you a great idea of what is trending on Redbubble, which is uh, the largest specialized print on demand marketplace. Now for Etsy, there's this free tool called Etsy Hunt, which gives you 10 free keyword and uh, product searches a day. It used to be completely free when I last made a video on it and it still has free features, but unfortunately um, it does now have paid tiers, but I think 10 uh, searches a day is plenty. And uh, so you've got 10 product searches and 10 keyword searches. Now for Merch by Amazon or just, you know, Amazon dropship print on demand, you can see the uh, BSR or the bestseller rank of some of these shirts. I don't think these are Merch by Amazon shirts, but you should be able to see the BSR of Amazon products using a Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. And then you can copy and paste the bestseller rank into this Jungle Scout sales estimator. It will then estimate how much the product is selling for you. Now the paid counterpart that shows you the data um, in tables and much more easily without you having to search for each separate keyword is Merch Informer. Again, three day free trial in the description. And this shows you um, sort of keyword search data as well and also uh, competition data and it scores you as well. Now, if you're trying to sell on Shopify or your own website, then there is this age old trick uh, to do research of basically just typing in site colon myshopify.com and then the keyword that you're looking for. So for example, t-shirt, uh, which brings you a list of all the Shopify stores um, that are selling t-shirts. There's also the publicly available TikTok and Facebook ad libraries that you can search through to find winning ads for the print on demand products that you're selling. But if you want the sales data for these stores, there's actually this tool called um, Simply Trends, which uses AI to estimate revenue. So it shows you a lot of data for free. And also on the side here, you have everything in one place. And it also combines uh, the publicly available ad libraries and you can search through winning ads for free, right? And you can see the data for any Shopify store. It also has a Chrome extension um, that shows you stuff like the Shopify store sales and uh, even what theme it's using. And this tool again uses AI to estimate the uh, revenue. Now it shows you a lot of data for free. Pretty much all this data is free except you only have to pay if you want to see the actual revenue data. So that's very specific data, um, but otherwise it's pretty much mostly free and it's a very highly recommended tool uh, on my part. So a lot of options to choose from there uh, if you want to do keyword and niche research for print on demand. So this next tool I wanna to talk about is called Big JPEG and it's completely free. It basically uses AI to scale up images and increase resolution. This is especially useful if you haven't used a vector program to make your designs. And uh, I have a feeling that's most of you, or you know, if you're trying to make photos look higher resolution, let's just use this uh, image, which is my website background as an example. So uh, let's, so it's a photo upscale it by four and then no noise reduction. It takes a while to process. In the meantime, if we have a look at the original image, uh, when we zoom in, we can see that there's a lot of pixelation, right? Now it's complete, so let's download that. And here's the new image. So when we zoom in, the pixelation uh, is less and it's sort of filled in the gaps for us. So if we compare side by side, uh, you can see that this one is obviously less pixelated than this one. Um, even if we zoom in, it's sort of filled in the gaps. It's not perfect, obviously, because it's using um, AI to predict where pixels would go, but it is a start. Now, in terms of print-on-demand design, ideally, you should be using a vector program 
to design that's uh, you know illustrator inkscape which is free or something like affinity designer so if you're using photoshop canva photopea then I'm sorry to break it to you, but these are not vector programs and they will pixelate when you zoom in. So in that case, this tool would be great to increase your design resolution. Now at ChatGPT, I'm sure you've heard of it, but if not, then it's basically this AI text generator. You type in a question that can be a very specific question and it gives you a human-like answer based on text from around the internet. So it's pretty clever. And in the context of POD, ChatGPT is great for giving you text-based design ideas. And the way I would recommend to you to use it for print on demand is like this. So don't just straight up ask, you know, what do I design to make money? Because it's not that clever. Use it in combination with these research tools. So let's say you found this low competition, high demand keyword. So for example, Karma Cat sticker. Now we can ask it to quote, give me some phrases relating to cats and karma to sell on a sticker. And then it's gonna spit out some phrases for you. So if you like any of these, go ahead and check them. We're using trademark here or some kind of USPTO trademark check. And then if they are clear, then you're good to go use these on text-based designs. Now, AI art generators wise, these have been controversial to say the least in the creative industry obviously because they pose a threat to artists. But I think the implication for print on demand is that it's gonna become exponentially more competitive because people are going to start flooding platforms with this kind of AI generated art. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. So this is DALI 2. It's one of the more popular models developed by OpenAI and it generates any image from a text prompt. So for example, if I type in cat sitting on a bench in a park drinking bottle of Coke and click generate, then I get this. Um, and if I type in a unicorn wearing nurse hat in the style of anime, I get something like this. So pretty neat. And the way this works is that it's trained on a bunch of text image pairs from around the internet. Now, the key thing is it's supposed to generate unique images each time. So this is obviously really useful for avoiding copyright claims for print on demand, as well as being able to generate very specific images. And DALI says in its terms and conditions that you can use these images for commercial use. Now, in terms of uh, IP, this can get very, very complicated because it is actually scraping images from the internet and then generating images from those. So it's not completely original. So the law isn't completely 100% crystal clear regarding that, but at the moment, the current policy is that you can use these images for commercial use. So can you see why this is a big deal now, especially for e-commerce and the creative industry? Currently, anyone with an internet connection can access uh, DALI 2 for free. And when you sign up, you get 50 prompts. They top you up with 15 credits per month. And if you need more, you can just make another account really. So now trick to get some more images that I learned from a, another YouTube channel, I can't remember the name right now, but I will link it in the description, um, is to type something like three by three array. For example, if you type in three by three array of cat cartoons, then you get this, right? Um, and I was aiming for something like this, but unfortunately they have misunderstood. In theory, you can get nine times the uh, number of images with one credit, and then you can just screenshot each of these individually. I know these are absolutely awful, but you probably want to say something more specific. And then you can blow up the resolution using a software like Big JPEG, which also uses AI. Now, DALI isn't the only one. There's a bunch of these image generators out there, uh, obviously of varying quality. And there's also uh, Deep Dream, for example, which was developed by Google. Another one is called Night Cafe. This one actually gives you credits topped up every day and you can access DALI 2 from inside Night Cafe as well. So I think, right, the way you use these properly is not to abuse them by flooding print-on-demand marketplaces with lots and lots of generic art, uh, which a lot of people are doing already. But the smarter way to use these is, again, to start by doing the research uh, seeing keywords that are in high demand and low competition, and then creating images for those keywords in the styles that are selling best. I think that is a good use of time because most importantly, you've validated the niche, um, high demand, low competition, and you've also created some decent art with it without having to pay an artist or a designer, right? So 
all in all, if you are willing to put in the effort into researching gaps in the market and then putting some thought into those ideas and then using these AI art generators to make your ideas a reality and enhance your designs and you've got yourself an amazing highly profitable opportunity. Now, if you're thinking about doing POD, but you don't wanna have zero sales after uploading hundreds of designs, make sure you check out this video on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.